recording YouTube. It is 5.08 in the morning. Uh, today's topic is Stephen Hawking. Way too early for that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So uh, yesterday, uh, Stephen Hawking died. Um, uh, on Wednesday. So I'm going to release this, I think, on Monday next week. So by the time you see this, it'll have been uh, last week, Wednesday, is when he passed away. Uh, Stephen Hawking is a theoretical physicist uh, in England, one of the brightest minds in physics uh, that was alive. Um, he did a lot of work on um, black holes. Uh, and theories uh, trying to combine uh, quantum physics with relativity. Um, I think, uh, well, it's, it's hard to say what he may be known for. He, you know, he's, he's done a lot of, a lot of um, theoretical research in this field. Uh, you know, he, he discovered uh, or theorized or however you want to put it, uh, you know, most people think of black holes as these things that, that, so black holes are, are so powerful that gravity is so strong that it, uh, anything that falls into it can't come out. Light will go into it and not come out. Uh, that's why we call them black. Um, but he came up with uh, this idea that black holes actually do emit a little bit of energy. Uh, so something is able to escape a black hole, and that energy is called Hawking radiation. Uh, they named it after the guy. Um, what else did he do? He, uh, he, I think lately, maybe, you know, the last thing he was working on is, um, he's a guy that was trying to figure out, well, what happens to information when it falls into the black hole? Um, and... Pretty much, you know, they, they called it the information paradox. So with the black hole, you've got something that falls into it and never comes out. That object or that thing or that packet of light has information in it. And so if this thing falls into the black hole, first of all, it gets annihilated. And, not annihilated. It gets pretty shredded in the process of going into a black hole because, uh, because the gravity is so strong. Any object gets elongated as it uh, flows into the black hole to such an extent that the gravity pulling at one end is stronger than the gravity pulling at the other end. And so any object will get elongated as it gets closer and closer, you know, into the, into the center of this black hole, wherever it's going. Um, so the object itself is pretty much lost. But again, the information that's stored in that object uh, is also into this black hole. Now, with this Hawking radiation, you know, as things enter the black hole, this black hole gets bigger and bigger because mass builds and builds and builds. And the more mass you have, the more gravity you have. Um, with this Hawking radiation, the Hawking radiation allows energy to leave the black hole, and that's a mechanism for the black hole to shrink again. Well, uh, Stephen Hawking's theory uh, goes that if enough enough Hawking radiation leaves, this black hole dissolves into nothing. Well, then what happened to all that information? Information can't be destroyed. And I know up to hoodie, <laughs> we've talked about this in the past, it's not information that gets destroyed, but in information plus something else, but inertia, maybe, I think is what you said. Uh, but we're not talking about the inertia side of it. Because really, once you fall into the black hole, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know much about black holes. I don't think any of us really do, but it's all theory at this point for what we're trying to figure out. Uh, let's not worry about the initial part of it, the inertial part of it, but the information part of it, uh, you know, that information can't, can't be destroyed. So what happens to that information if black hole dissolves into nothing? So that, that's, that's where, you know, Stephen Hawking was working with some other physicists to try and figure that out. That's called the information paradox. 
Um, that led to ideas of, well, maybe there are wormholes, that information flows through the wormholes, so therefore it's never destroyed, yada, yada, yada. So, um, he, Stephen Hawking was working on stuff like that. <laughs> uh, again, we can't look into black holes, so we don't really know, so a lot of it is math-based. Um, I think Stephen Hawking held a mathematician position at, uh university that he was working at. Anyway, um, you know, the guy, if, if you ever thought of, well, okay, physics, physics subject matter expert, I think most people will think of Stephen Hawking. So, um, Stephen Hawking had ALS, uh, so he was uh, stuck in a wheelchair for most of his life. I think he he was, uh, I was reading this, I think he was diagnosed in his 20s. He lived to his 70s. Like, the doctor said, oh, you only have two years to live. He lived 50 years that way. Uh, so that was pretty impressive. Uh, he lost, he couldn't talk, so he spoke through a voice box. Uh, he was wheelchair bound. Pretty crippled. I mean, he could, he had, he could not control most of his body. I, he, I'm pretty sure, I think he can control his eyes and maybe a couple fingers. Uh, everything else was motorized wheelchair, computerized uh, voice, um, yeah. But uh, even with all those, still one of the greatest minds we had in physics, uh, theoretical physics. So with his passing, uh, you know, my big, my big uh, curiosity is who takes up the mantle? Who 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 fills in the role of like you know who's going to do that research now? Uh, I know he was working with other people, um, but no one is no one is a Stephen Hawking. How do you replace that? Um, anyway, so yeah, like I said, he died yesterday. I've kind of been thinking about it all on and off all day yesterday. Uh, I found out early morning reading ABC News or something like that, some news. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd go ahead and do an episode. Um, not sure what else there is to say. I, I might read some more today, try and figure out, you know, what other impacts he had. But uh, I think the, the world of physics, the scientific world, uh, has been reacting. Um, yeah. Not entirely sure yet what it means. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little episode, talk a little bit about them. Um, okay, I think that's enough. I gotta have to work. You gotta go do whatever you do. Um, 